The Finance Minister reckons the small boost to benefits announced yesterday could put meat back in the grocery shop for some, but others say it's simply not meaty enough to make a real difference. The budget revealed an increase of $17 a week to benefits by 2023 as part of welfare changes that the government says will benefit 339,000 people and families. Our Christchurch reporter Logan Church and videographer Simon Rogers have this story. For many whānau in Christchurch, covering the cost of living can be tough even more so if you're on a benefit. I'm on job seekers and I've had to do it all budget, like literally budget. So, yeah, it's pretty hard. How much, how much a week do you, do you get? Um, well, at the moment it was like 2.30 and then now it's like, well, it just goes up and down. Yeah. And what does that cover? Um, that covers pretty much rent and power and then food is pretty much like you've got to go like to the mission or everywhere else or depending on what you're going to be. You probably have to turn into a vegan because even that's expensive but you get free vegetables and stuff like that from all the churches and everywhere else. So. That's from a young mum of four who we mess outside a small laundromat in Eastern Christchurch. As the weather cools down, power costs rise. Food prices also continue to go up and up. The government is hoping to make that though a little easier for those on the benefits. From April next year, benefit increases will be tied to average wage increases. The Finance Minister says that will put an extra $10 to $17 in beneficiaries' pockets by 2023 and cost the government $320 million. This mum, though, doesn't think it will make much of a difference. $17, um, I don't think that's probably going to do much, really, because the prices of food in the supermarkets are overly expensive unless you're going to feed them up on everything that's expired or just about to expire, or it could be all like chips and all the wrong things that you'd want to give your kids. So you're pretty much going in to buy a bag of apples is too expensive. Hope Couch, who is 22 and also on the Job Seekers Benefit, believes it will be a help, but doesn't think $17 extra several years down the track will go far. I receive about $80 a week if I'm lucky. What does that cover? Um, well, I smoke cigarettes, so I buy a packet of Taylor's um, and I'll buy dinner for me and my father and I'll probably maybe have maybe $20 left over if I'm lucky. What, what could you get with 17 extra dollars? Um, I'm not sure, probably a bit more, you know, f food, I guess, because I can't even buy groceries with what I have. So what can you get for $17? We've popped down to a local supermarket to find out. 10 minutes later. So what do we have for our $17? We have a litre of milk. We have a jar of Pam's pasta sauce. We have half a kilo of mince. We have a 500 gram bag of value pasta. We have a 400 gram can of chopped tomatoes. And we have, finally, four onions. Now for a small family or a couple, this is plenty for a meal or two. But if you have several kids or a larger family, things really do get stretched. So the change might transform a meal or two, but the jury's out on whether the government's truly dished up its promised transformational change. In Christchurch for Checkpoint, Logan Church.